Hi everyone, Nalbar here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the level 15 heroic quest, Litany of the Dead, on the Elite difficulty with all four endings. This is video part 1 of 2. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Warjack here. After completing the four Necro 4 heroic flagging quests, we can talk now to the quest giver for Litany of the Dead and the Ascension Chamber, which is the raid. Here he will give us a sigil. This is empty. It's just a frame. You need to add to it all eight pieces of the sigil frame that come from the flagging quests. These are bound to characters. You'll have to do the flagging quests and collect all eight. But they can be passed via chest from other players. Once you've collected all eight, you'll put them all inside of the sigil. Once the sigil is complete, you'll see it changes its graphic. And now when you talk to the quest giver, you will change it for us as you can see he gave us now a complete sigil this is what you need you don't need anything else now this old frame with the pieces you can throw it out you don't need it anymore or it can be like me and you can just keep on collecting and hoarding pieces because i don't know i enjoy it but all you need really is the complete sigil that's it now you are flagged for next lives also but now that we did that so now we can head over to the quests and actually step in You can enter this quest as many times as you want. No reflagging is required. The Black Mausoleum is grand, yet Spartan and deadly. This quest is divided into four different paths. The part that gives you the XP though it will be once you finish the riddle. We'll get to that soon. Since it's very short until you get to the riddle and you get a huge amount of XP, this quest is very known for farming. Players come in here, run, get XP, and get out. So, that's going to be one of the most popular quests that's run, but only the first half. The second part where you need to complete the four different paths and kill each boss is not run and especially not run solo. So, I hope you learn. Hope you enjoy it. In preparation to this quest, I have ran this multiple times, but I took a break before I started recording. So, I need to get back into the groove. Here we've got this trap. It will be triggered if you step on it. First, I'm going to get really close to this blade trap over here and try to get the quell to come out of the wall. I don't want it to spring up and surprise me. Now I'm going to throw a projectile weapon at that little lever over there to trigger this trap without stepping on it. That way I can see the path through it. The path changes from instance to instance, so you'll have to check it every time. Or you can just yellow it and just run through it. Just jump so you don't hit it too many times. It is necessary to kill these enemies to continue on. Without killing them, the, door, the way will be locked. You have to first kill them, clear them out before the gate will open. So, keep that in mind. Here we've got a mini boss. He's a skeleton with a black bone. That means he's also immune to fire. And his main trick is that he does, uh, well, he takes down your armor class. Basically, he's got improved destruction or whatever it is, and he can beat through your armor if you're a tank. This is an easy trick to avoid him, and this is kind of cheap, but yeah. You can just stand up over here and blast him. I know it's not very dignified or exciting, but yeah, this is the easy way if you don't want to get stand and hit.
I do have to point out that you can't hit him with melee from over here. So only ranged or spellcasting. Melee, you'll have to get down and hit him, well, face to face. I guess I should get down also, it's getting a little boring. When it comes to flagging, I usually run the first part on Elite to get my XP, and once I'm done with the XP farming, I will run the four different bosses, usually on casual or normal, to make it as fast as possible. That being said, I'm doing some of these bosses for the first time ever on Elite. I've never done it on Elite, especially not solo, so please root for me. I hope I can get through it. You can run past these enemies. I do not recommend it. Especially if you're going for the paths at the end. Because every time you leave enemies, they'll later consider towards a green or red alert, so don't do it. Once you pull the chest, you fall into a trap. As soon as you do, pull this lever. There will be uh, rounds of endless spawning monsters over here. And they will start spawning as soon as you fall in. And they will end once the trap is disabled. That means the longer it takes you to pull the trap, just the more monsters spawn in. Now there's a maximum amount that can be spawned in it at once. So my trick is just to stand here and not let any more spawn in. You have to wait for these three crystals to light up. Standing in the corner here and holding shield block, they deal a pitiful amount of damage. It's no problem to heal it. And just wait it out. Also you should notice, you see this ledge over here? You can stand on this ledge. But if you're solo, do not do it. If someone, if there's no one in the party standing on the floor, the quest will consider it as if there's no one in this room and the timer on the on the lock over there, the, the time lock will just freeze, it won't move ahead. So you'll be standing here forever. So at least one player has to stand on the bottom. And if you're solo, well, that's you. So don't hide up over there. But as you can see, I've only got a few skeletons over here. And here we already got one of these green lights. Now you might be wondering why don't they just run around and kill everything. Well, the way it goes is this quest, you can't get conquest for killing multiple enemies. But you can get more XP if you kill less. So if you kill anything to about like 50 enemies, you'll get 7% XP boost. And if you kill close to like 80, you'll get a 5%. If you kill everything over here, there's about another 35 enemies. So about 10 per light, plus another five from the beginning or the end, whichever way you want to see it. So I'm just gonna not let anything else spawn in. That's it. Also, by the way, this green floor is just textured like skulls slightly slowly moving. Yeah, I had a lot of time to spend here. Okay, well, that's two out of three. As I mentioned, there's always going to be a few monsters who spawn in. And even after you complete this puzzle, this trap, there will be the last few that will spawn in. They always spawn in the end. But after that it will stop. The spawning isn't infinite as long as you pull the switch. Yeah, any moment now. I guess you can stand in any corner, but I like standing in this corner because you can see the switches. And there we go. That was it. So I'm going to kill these few stragglers. It's not too many. And I don't want to have a dungeon alert because of them. Anyways, they're going to run after me and die when they come for the drop-down trap. You'll see later. There. 
41 enemies. I'm good. I shouldn't have more than like 55 by the end of this quest. That's that's inside of the the minimum amount, so I'm good. You can run past these enemies, but they'll give you a dungeon alert. And anyways, I think they're going to fall down and kill themselves on the force traps. trap is fixed you have to run and jump down most players come from this side i like going from the other side in spite of all my practice i still panic when i go down over here and i don't have any great advice for how to do it so good luck I've had a few flawless runs. A shame that the one on recording isn't. Well, it wasn't too bad though. Okay, I'm gonna stand facing towards the right. So when the floor drops, I'll get the best view. Also, the way I understand it, this floor, the game checks like every 30 seconds or so to see if the whole party's here. And if the whole party's here, well, it'll activate. So depending on when you fall in, it can be just a few seconds or you can might be stuck here for like a whole half a minute. So that's what's happening here. Anyway, this is the point from here. We're going to have to choose a path. There'll be four different paths leading from this point. And based on how we answer the riddle that's upcoming, we'll determine which one of the four bosses we're going to have to face. Regardless, as soon as you pass the riddle, the quest technically ends, you get your XP. So, first one we're gonna go is gonna be the High Priest of All. He's a vampire and he's lawful evil. You fall into a small cage. Ahead of you, a black dragon. Well, here's the dragon and he's gonna give us the riddle. Now, before we go anywhere, you can see there's four entrances. One of them's underneath the dragon over there at the bottom. And it's four different directions. Now, Here's the fully opened map. You can see there's four completely different paths. There's a boss at the end of each one. This one is the High Priest of Vault. Okay, the one to the side over here. This is Chol Souls, whatever his name is, the Doom Sphere. This one is the Flesh Maker. And this one over here is for Sinus, the Cinder Spawn. So, we have to answer questions that will go. This is the top one. This is a lawful evil, then the side of lawful good is on the side, then the bottom is going to be chaotic good, and then it'll be chaotic evil. So, based on the way we answer this riddle, we'll open up a different path for us. So, first we get out of, out of the way to few yes, 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 then we get to the first five questions are good or evil. So, we want to go lawful evil, so Emerald Claw is going to be our first one. That's evil one. Next is, yeah, I'll stand by his side and you bring Stormers to his knees, that's evil 2. Uh, let him destroy what he wants, yeah, that's evil 3. How to do anything but give up my freedom, that's evil 4. And deliver it to Vol, give him this tome, is evil 5. Now it's chaos or lawful, so, of course, the flesh golems are abominations if you're lawful, so... That's lawful one. Uh, stayed faithful to the lady. That's lawful two. Uh, the same. The contract is binding. Yeah, that's lawful three. I would follow orders I was given. That's lawful four. And he deserved desire for betraying the faith. Yes, that's lawful five. Now we've got two together. So the dominator is lawful and evil so that's lawful evil 
um, lacks the intentions, plans, and uh, guts to do what needs to be done. This is lawful and evil. Now the dragon type is one of the colors because that's evil and it's black and blue. Those are lawful evil. Uh, lawful means he was engaged in ventures. Give them a chance. It would be chaotic. Sorry, that would be chaotic. that would be chaotic. Destroy them straight out because he's lawful and doesn't care about them. That's lawful evil. And of course, we're going for the high priest of all. So this is lawful evil. We got it all right, and that's it. As you can see, we got our XP, and with our seven percent, that's it. Fourteen minutes. This is why people farm this quest multiple times. Great XP. Okay. Well, if you're enjoying this video, please say like and subscribe. I'm gonna rest up. Yeah, I'll be here with just a quick note. If you look at the dragon's head, he always points towards the direction that you're supposed to go. So, right now, it's supposed to go to the high priest. So he tilts his head towards the high priest. Hey, cool! I didn't know that. Okay, here we've got this table. Once you've completed a boss, he will give you an option to pick up a trinket. I've completed all four, so I can pick any one of the four trinkets. You can only pick one. So, the flesh golems uh, statue figurine is the one that we get from, from uh, defeating Mental, and you can use it in the fight against uh, High Priest of Vol. So that's the one that I picked. Quick note over here, uh, no one ever uses this thing, it's basically useless and I'm pretty sure no one ever got to see it. And the truth of the matter is, I had never seen it before, so I'm looking forward to this video also. To tell you the truth, I haven't seen it either. I'm just doing it because of the recording, so I'm just as excited as you are. Yeah, I'm going to try to pick up the pace a bit over here. Um, this video is going to get really long, so... This is pretty linear, there's not worry, there's not really anywhere to get lost, and this quest is very reminiscent of the, the desecrated temple of all. Basically looks the kind the same kind of like textures and the same vibe, monsters, etc. It's basically different layout, but it's the same kind of thing. Oh, there's plenty of bosses over here named so I probably should empty out your inventory before you start as you can see there is a locked gate with two crests so before we get to that gate we're gonna go down passageways and I'm saying that purposely because I want you to remember that up until the gate passageways reigns reign supreme so anytime we get to a place where there's a door or a passageway we're gonna take the passageway that's up until we get to the door after that we'll change but up until then, anytime we've got an option, you first take the passageway, then you take the door. What happens if you go the wrong way? Does it make any difference? No, you just get end up backtracking. It's not like a big deal, but there's some places where you need keys and stuff, and if you go down the wrong passageway, you'll have to backtrack and whatever. It, it's no big deal. I'm just, this is a way to easily to remember it. Up until the door, we, up until the locked door, we go down passageways first. That's it. Okay. This mirror has a quill in it.
I've done this before a few times on Elite, but I've never done this solo on Elite. So, hope I can get past the boss. He's actually pretty tough. Actually, all the bosses over here have got a whole bunch of hit points. They're a little bit tougher than usual. Um, I think I'll be fine. Here we've got a secret door with a chest. It's not really protected or anything. Um, it's all the way at the top left of the map. That's the way you remember it. The one most to the left, I guess. Every passageway has got a optional or extra chest. So this is the one for the uh, High Priest of all. Like all the chests in Acropolis, it can drop Tome and Shield Pages, so that's why that's why you would care about it. Over here we've got either a door or we've got a passageway into the next room, so like we said before, up until the locked door, we always take the passageways. we go. Now we're on the other side of this gate and we're up to the locked door. This quill likes running back into the door so I'm just gonna move on. I can also play the hard to get let him try to come and get me. Got him already. Now that we've passed the door, now we give a precedence to doors rather than passageways. So over here we're gonna first go to the door, and then we'll go down the hallway. Passageway, whatever. Also, there's a shrine here, just in case you've forgotten. This guy just doesn't want to die, does he, huh? Here we can choose between the door and the passageway. Well, again, the door first. The truth is it doesn't make any difference over here. It, it really doesn't make any difference. We have to go to these two side rooms and this is where we find the two crests for that locked door.
Okay, basically you can see we came straight on this path, made this one detour to get on the other side of the fence, got the two crests, and now we're gonna open up the door. Here we go. Here's the big fight. I don't think the difficulty of this vampire is extreme. It's just that he has a lot of hit points and you have to survive for a long time. Like all these boss vampires, they have this trick where they vanish and summon a pack of wolves. So once you deal with the wolves, he no longer so summon wolves. It's only once. So. But if the, the longer this fight goes on, the more packs of like bats and vampires spawn will come into the fight. I'll say with this fight, just make sure you've got Death Ward when it comes to defending against him. Probably fire resistance, some kind of fire resistance, even though it's not too strong. And if you're melee, you better have good and silver to bypass his damage reduction. Are you going to use that trinket? Or are you just like holding out on me? Or like, you forgot? Yeah, actually, yeah, I did forget. Sorry. Just a second. Probably should use it now. I mean, you're gonna win before you know it. Yeah, and no, I just want to get rid of all this trash. According to the wiki, he also takes damage from me, and I don't want to kill him by mistake. So, I'm going to clear out a nice round of trash, and then I'll summon him in. Here we go. Equipped it. Look at that. A flesh golem. Based on the red bar over his head, I assume that means, well, that he can take damage from me also. He probably also can heal from you, so if you hit him with electric, he should probably heal. Doesn't seem to be targeted by me. Oh, I just got hit now. Yeah, if you do, if I hit him, he heals from electric. Yeah, but the amount of damage he does is pitiful, so. Yeah, I just, we have cute, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing is probably affected by uh, augmented stun the summoning. So, we got a whole bunch of past life and stuff, maybe he's, he's tougher, whatever. Probably, but I wouldn't care about it, so this is why everybody does this boss first. The high priest's face contorts as the throes of yeah, and that's it. Boss one down. The quest isn't done yet. 
you haven't completed your flagging. First, you have to get this chest. This can drop some name loot other than just tome pages and shield of arguments. It's very important you step out you and exit through this path. To complete the flagging, you must stand on the top of each one of the four towers while there's no crystals there. This is it. Getting this text. If somebody breaks the crystals before you go out, you're fine. As long as you stand outside when there's no crystals. If you come outside and there's crystals, you'll need to break them. And you can see you can we're pretty close to where the this desecrated temple of all is and we're in running distance to it. And we're actually outside inside of the, the wilderness. This is the wilderness area of the orchard. This is a public area. This is a slayer zone. Yeah, so you recall out. And now we've got one boss and now we're just gonna head back. And well, rinse and repeat. This time we're gonna when we get to this puzzle, we're gonna go to Troll Fools, the Doom Sphere. And he's gonna be lawful good. You fall into a small cage. Ahead of you, a black dragon sleeps. So yes, yes, yes. I am Warjack. Blah 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 blah. Give me the questions. So the order keeps on getting mixed up. The same questions though. So good number one, silver flame. Never, he's a scourge, whatever, get rid of him. Good number two. He should deal with his own anger. Good number three. I'll do anything to save my daughter. Good number four. And destroy once for all. Good number five. Okay, now we need lawful. So this is like before. So creatures are abominations. This is lawful one. Stayed faithful to the lady. This is lawful too. Um, yeah, the same. It's binding, lawful three. Then what I was told, that's lawful four. And he deserved to die. That's lawful five. This time we want the crusader. This is lawful good. Lacks honor and compassion, that's lawful too. Lawful good too. Now, gold and silver are the chromatic lawful good. Um, here is lawful, so he has to engage us in a battle of wits, but if we succeed, he'll let us pass. So, this is lawful good. And we want to go to the Troll of Fools, the Doom Sphere. And we got it right. Yeah, and you can see now he's bending down. Cool. Eleven minutes. Not bad. This is a very long video, so I'm gonna shamelessly remind you to subscribe if you haven't. I'm so close to a thousand. Really could use it. Thank you. Okay, this time from the table of objects, we're going to take the thing that's going to help us this time. So, the last boss we did was the High Priest of all, and in order, he's going to give us the Curved Eye of all. That is going to be useful against the Doom Sphere. What it does is it gives you true seeing that can't be dispelled, and it's for like two minutes. So, if you're a melee ca character, you want to hit the Doom Sphere, this is a clicky for you. Here you'll see I'm breaking all these frozen statues. This isn't just because I want to. I do, I want to. But also because you'll see soon they drop crests. You need four crests. I think of the octopus, and that's for opening up a door. And they, you need to break all these statues. So it's not here yet, but 
soon. It's very important. Also, some of these statues drop keys. And one of them is optional, but one of them is mandatory. This next section is a whole bunch of rooms connected, and we're just going to run through all of them. I'm going to snake through them one long line. As I said before already, this is the first time I'm doing this on Elite, period. You can see the way I snake through it. I'm going to go through all of them because we have to make sure we get the crests. Here we go. Got myself one of the crests. Three more to go. Another crest. Here you can see the way is blocked. We'll be coming around from the other side. You probably noticed that lots of these breakable ice figures spawn these trash mobs you have to kill also. It's very annoying when you miss one of these by accident and you have to go running around looking for it. Either you broke it and didn't notice that it dropped or you ran by it, but there we go. Now we've got all of them, so we're good. Okay, this is checkpoint number one. Here we've got ourselves checkpoint number two. This is a locked door. Now you can pick lock over here. I'm not going to. And even though you can, I would recommend you should. You, I wouldn't recommend you doing it. Recommend instead of going up this path. There's an extra chest over here. Again, this is because these chests all can drop tome and shield fragments. Also, this is where you get the key. If you can't, so. The tunnel ends here in a small chilling cave. It's over here in the far corner. At the end of the corner, at the end of this room in the far corner is where you have the ice sculpture who will drop the key. And here's your chest. Okay, this is checkpoint two. The 
southern tunnel is filled with ancient frozen stalactites and ice pillars. There we go, this is checkpoint number three. This door is locked, it cannot be picked. Here we got this door. You can see there's a lever on the other side. Basically we look back and we come through the other side. We go around in a circle and come out. Yeah. As I mentioned before, this is the first time I'm doing this part on Elite. And, well, I've done it solo before, but only on casual so um, I'm really nervous about this fight um, well I hope I survive do you have any strategy for how to do it well yeah I have a strategy I don't I think my strategy is okay I just I need not to panic well troll fools is lawful good and his whole shtick is that he's not trying to kill you He's just trying to incapacitate you, so he actually doesn't do any damage to you. He only does constitution damage to you. You know that, right? Well, yeah, it's not... He doesn't do the damage. It's the skeletons that can do damage, but being incapacitated, whatever, and you take small amounts of damage, you can just die if you get stunned. The truth is, the more I think about it, there's no reason why I should be scared, but I just am. I know I, know I panic, and don't blame me, but I see other people panic also. Took me a long time to stop panicking while I was making the other video. The, the one located, the, the, the flagging quest for this. I had the same problem. There's an optional over there to kill all the skeletons and I would panic. Everybody that I ever played with always panicked and rushes the boss, but there's really no reason to. I've done it once and I found like a safe spot where I could stay and range the boss. But I don't know how to repeat or recreate it. Yeah, I don't think there's a method to that. It's just sometimes the boss gets stuck, but uh, I don't think I would consider that a strategy. So let's, let's cross fingers and <laughs> Let, let's hope it works out. Anyways, past checkpoint three and we're on to the final stretch. By the way, years ago, I wanted to see a video of Litany of the Dead, and I couldn't find any. And I found like one low quality video of Litany, and it already did one of the four passageways, and it was this one. So I've never seen videos of the other ones. It could be they don't exist, but um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this video come out. Um, I'm waiting for this recording to be over. And to get it uploaded yeah well me too the only difference is that I can tell you from my experience now recording this I understand why nobody else wants to do it this is a ton of work yeah I hope people subscribe okay well there's three entrances into this area and basically all you do is make sure you've got your character sheet open and you watch your constitution uh, i've got stacks of these restoration potions and make sh make sure that every time i get max constitution goes low i heal myself back up and that's it that that's my strategy wait for the boss and just keep an eye on your constitution as you can see he has like one attack that's all it does this gazing beam or whatever it's called and he's knocking down my constitution anytime it gets low 
I'm going to just take a rest greater restoration pot and bring it all back up. And then just keep on going. Hopefully I don't go too low. What happens if you go too low? Uh, want me to do it? Oh, I'm just asking. Yeah, thanks. Here, here, here's what happens if you go too low. You get stunned. Okay? He keeps on hitting you with constitution. We can't go under zero. Basically, you're going to need to swim or run away and try to get out of range. Once you're out of range and it can't hit you anymore, you need to wait. Over time, it regenerates. As soon as it gets back to one, you can take a greater restoration pot and bring it all back up. So, very simple. Again, I don't know why this is so scary, but this is terrifying. I'm, <laughs> I'm really scared right now for some reason. Hey, uh, don't forget to use the, the clicky. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't really need the clicky. It's, all it does is it makes a... It gives me ghost touch. I don't use ghost touch. Yeah, I know, but just, just use it. We need it for the completion sake of this video. You gotta use all the clickies. Okay, okay, but let me let me let me get this fight under control. I want to feel like I'm about to win before I do anything. Where is it? There we go. See, there it is. Clicky. That's it. True seeing. What does it give me? Nothing. I don't care. Okay, now we can kill this boss. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be giving you true seeing that can't be dispelled, but from what I can tell, he doesn't dispel magic anyway, so I don't I don't get the whole point of it. It's not like he's a regular beholder. Doom Sphere, he's not dispelling anything. You've got all your buffs on. You're casting magic freely, so it's not that. So I, I don't see the point. Basically, it just gives you true seeing, and now you can... It basically gives you ghost touch. Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's why people don't care about that much, so... Yeah, pretty useless. Well, that was that. That's a that was a relief. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I'm gonna have to face against Sinus. Yeah, and Mental, doing that solo. Well, yeah, I guess you guys should definitely subscribe. Don't miss the next video for the, the last two bosses. Also, of course, you have to step out of the tower over here. Also, break the crystals. And standing here while there's no crystals will flag you for this point. You need all four points to be flagged for the raid. From here you can also see the the tree of woe. Yeah, so that's it. Again, you can just recall out and then you can run and do the next boss. Well, anyways, I'm going to be cutting the video here and catching you all the next part. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, we'll be seeing you soon in the next part. And I hope you enjoyed it. This is tons of effort. And I'll see you there. Bye. Yeah, thanks for everybody. This is a very big project. Tons of hours have been put into it. So appreciate it for staying around all the way to the end.